This game is so weird. And now I'm in space. Why am I in space? This is a pretty cool experience, I have to say. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Okay, that's just bizarre. Do I have control here? I do! Okay, so yeah, here I definitely have to make sure that the kid doesn't run into any of these nasty things here. Uh, I think I'm gonna get hit. Whoa! Ah, oh, I hit one, I lost one. So there is a game aspect to it, that's kinda cool. I wonder if you can play this with a touch screen. Well, I know you can play it with an Ouya controller. We saw that it was in association with Ouya at the very beginning. I don't think it's gonna help. I'm gonna make it hit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm dying here. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that in the context of this game. All I can do is try to aim for the gap, but it doesn't seem to work in this case. Yeah, I'm not gonna last much longer here. <laughs> oh, did I make it? I think I might have made it. Ah, there it goes. That kid can't be five. That must have been in the past. He's got some crazy vibration in his fingers there. <laughs> Obviously, the graphics are perfect. Ugh, oh, hey, you scared um, me. I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. I guess I'm Amy now, or maybe a nurse? Aww. Little puppy! Man, the connection between a baby and a dog, that's a powerful thing. That's adorable. Uh-oh. I wonder if I can save. I think it said there was scene selection, so I should be able to continue later. End of treatment party! Very good. Or maybe good. Either means it worked or they gave up. I missed a lot of my dad's treatment. I was uh, up in Chicago in grad school. Oh, is that the dance like no one's watching? Is that the designer maybe? Or... I could have sworn I could open one of those doors, but maybe not. Nope. See, there was a, a little hand there for a second. Right there. It's not letting me do nothing. 
Journey in Light and Darkness by Sylvia Walgren. There's a lot to see in this. There's a lot of detail. I like that. Still Life by Martin Walgren. Well, I don't know where I'm going. I heard a beep. Oh, is that the phone? Well, what's in the fridge? Nope, I can't touch the fridge. I guess I gotta look at the phone. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a clever touch. Phone battery is almost empty every time I look at it. Hey, I'm cleaning up eggs again. A dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you, oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Like they just spread around and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So I'm just so frustrated, but you should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. Cookers. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Again, adorable. I don't like all the cute. That means they're just setting me up for something bad later. That's a photo, rendered artistically. Interesting. Race away, cancer. Whoa! What the? Okay, that was weird. Sean Heron. Bernie and Aiden. Connor. August. Ramparts Deferred by Satchel Driggs. Or the intro to Mist. Oh, there's the phone again. Uh, it got dark. I don't like that. I can't touch it. I'm trying, but I can't touch it. Won't let me touch it. What's going on? I know that's what I need to do. Right? I have to look at all the paintings. Is that what that's telling me? Oh, it's an elevator. Gosh. <laughs> it, it really didn't make that clear. Whoa. Okay. I guess I wasn't able to look at that phone. The Temple of Man. This is quite the experience. And yeah, like the thing said, definitely wear headphones when you watch this or play it, guys. The stereo is quite impressive. Stereo sound to me. Oh, no. Is that an MRI? Of some kind? What is that? Well, we're about to find out. Oh no. Is it brain cancer? Is that what that means? Yep. It's brain cancer. Hey, it's you again. I love you, my friend. This is my favorite game. Do you want to see? Watch out, start it. <laughs> this is my favorite game, creating matter. Catch you right here, and the big lion comes. You know that scary lion? It's so loud. I can roar, that's why I can. Yeah, hear me roar. 
Yes. <laughs> I'm Don't working on my roar. You might want to cover your ears. Tears is my favorite. Okay, now what am I doing? Oh, I'm controlling the lion. I think. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! <laughs> I still have no idea what I'm doing. No clue. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is so weird! But I love it! It's such a visual experience. I mean, the kid, he's having a ball, but I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Can I leave? Like, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not kidding. Oh. Now he's not riding anything. Did I fail? Like, what's going on? This terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. It's the first time they've actually said it. Of hearing about well, it. that's not true. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. Oh no. These have got to be real kids that died. Okay, so we're looking at European dates here. So that's March 12th of 98 to May 18th, 2008. Yeah, we in the States, we flip uh, the first and the second number there. We put the month first. God, do I really have to look at all this? UIHC. It's probably a hospital of some kind. These are probably really people. Or these are probably real people, I should say. No, I already looked at that. Ugh. Don't make me see it again. To my hero, Henry M. Bradley Seward. Oh my gosh. Four? <sighs> 
to everyone who's ever died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother. Rest in peace, Hank, Marsha, and all the rest of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever's become of you, you are presently better off than you were at the end of your life. We miss you. Of course they are. Do I really have to read all of these? No, no more. I can't, I can't do this. I gotta keep going. Oh my gosh, can you really read all of those? <laughs> Hell no. No, you can't make me. Well, that's encouraging. Look over there, huh? Oh. The cow says... I'm not hearing a moo. Oh, is he going to say it? Oh. Farmerville plays building blocks with the cows. <laughs> Farmer Bill plays fetch with the pigs. <laughs> That's not how that thing works, and you know it. You're just avoiding a copyright problem. <laughs> or a trademark. Farmer Bill races the horse, and Farmer Bill wins. <laughs> My shoes were untied. <laughs> <laughs> Nice reference. Uh, am I missing something? More, more. More, more. Okay. Okay, buddy. We can do more. At the square dance at night, Farmer Bill swings Bessie the cow round and round. I saw some horses today. Ironically enough, in my job, I signed someone up for a cancer plan. In front of a bunch of horses. It was a horse show. Farmer Bill plays chess with the horse. The horse always wins. Checkmate! <laughs> Those silly ducks take a bubble bath. <laughs> That's not how that line goes. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Of course. Oh. Hello. Uh. Oh, my goodness. That's clever. That's very clever. Wow. And there it is. They get it now. Sometimes I wish we could just leave them waiting a few more minutes. Because once they get this news, their life never goes back to how it was before. 
it's, it's Those were their last normal minutes, and, quite small at this point, and they didn't even know it. Size isn't terribly important. I'm glad he's so good at this. He takes the losses so personally. Joel's looking good. He's been making progress, his weight is up. It's just hard to believe that we only made it halfway through chemotherapy. It, it was rough at first, but I really started to think that he was going to make it. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. Yep, I've had that conversation before. I'll nod my head. Yeah, whenever I ask sciencey questions, I nod my head. Digesting every Latin word, hoping it will stick to my ribs, become part of me. That if I ask enough questions, that maybe I can get my brains around this cancer. And I can choke it to death. I love asking good questions. It impresses them. They'll be impressed with the way we handle all of this. Such good, thoughtful parents that ask such good questions. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative? Of course not. I guess I'm going to cry after all because they love us. And they love Joel, and... We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. <sighs> From personal experience, they're not. Just so you know. Okay, I said fatal. Given you a lot to think about I said today, not curative. So going to have, to have, have I said the word death yet? I can tell they understand, though. A whole new vocabulary. All the rules are different now. I think it's really sinking in. Oh, she's crying. We should wrap this up soon. All the details can wait. oncologist to decide whether we could do some radiation or just chemotherapy. What would the radiation do? Well, the radiation could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms. But it would not keep more tumors from developing, because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. Science, it's simpler. Measurable. I give A, B, subtract C, and I get this result, and I can do something to control it, or at least have the sense that I'm controlling it. But now all we have left is a miracle, and miracles are fickle. They don't always come, and we don't always know why. What if Joel's miracle doesn't come? I, I hope he lives. I've always hoped. But now I can't do anything but hope. Oh, radiation. At least we can do something. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. Hope is for something someone else has to do for us. And when doctors can't, well, invisible Jesus must. We're so sorry. God, I do not want a replacement baby. If that was your plan, I am not on board. I don't want some new baby to help me move on. I would not have chosen it. Oh God, Joel has to live or I will not love this baby. You're welcome. Whoa. It's not good. The MRI? Is that where I'm going? How big is it? Well, it's in the front of the And it's quite small at this point. 
but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy is failed. This is the I guess this is what Joel is hearing the whole time. Am I supposed to go toward this? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh. I can't see anything now. I I can't see anything. I hope I did the right thing. Mm. No, I literally can't see anything. Is that supposed to be a lighthouse? Is that helping me? I'm getting Silent Hill 2 flashbacks. Oh my god, I didn't even think that those represent tumors. <laughs> 